Hello, everybody. I'm Jess Arce, America's dyslexia expert. And today I'm here to talk to you about dyscalculia. Most people are familiar with the word dyslexia, which means difficulty with words. However, people are not as familiar with the term dyscalculia, which means difficulty with numbers. So I'm going to share a little bit of information with you about it so that you can be more familiar with it and determine if maybe you or your children might have dyscalculia. So dyscalculia often presents itself with difficulty rem with remembering math facts, concepts, formulas, sequences, and procedures. Also, math homework can be very sloppy. Students may not keep their math in a straight line, but it tends to go off to the side. They always ask, how much longer? How much longer do I have to spend on math? And they have trouble counting and use their fingers at a much older age. We've worked with students who are in their teens and still counting on their fingers. They avoid playing games like risk or trouble and using math concepts. They have a hard time with multiplication facts. Memorizing them is a grueling process for the student and the parent. Gosh, do I remember trying to teach my kids multiplication facts and they just weren't getting them. They leave out numbers, they mix up numbers, they um, may put them backwards when they're writing it. They have difficulty sticking to a schedule, um, inability to recall sequences in the past, present, or future, have trouble consistently knowing left from right, Read ma reading a map is challenging, they can't remember math formulas and rules, they have difficulty solving word problems with phrases like less than or greater than or more than, the equals or unequal sign is tricky, it's confusing when talking time frames of events, um, when writing, reading, or recalling numbers, they make mistakes with addition, subtraction, transpositions, omissions, reversals, difficulty with abstract concepts of time and direction. They may be chronically late or early. They are inconsistent results in their addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division problems. Inability to visualize, appear absent-minded or lost in thought. Inconsistency with mastering their math facts. They have difficulty following sequences and procedures in directions in math steps. They are slow to understanding math con concepts with word problems. They confuse operation signs and perform them in the wrong order. They confuse parts to a whole relationship. Fractions were so hard for me. I actually didn't understand fractions until I was in my 30s and homeschooling my first child that I was homeschooling and I was watching a math video and I was like, oh, wow, um, they have limited strategic planning ability. And you'll find that algebra can be really challenging for them. However, geometry isn't so hard. For many people with dyscalculia, learning math is like learning a foreign language and not like a student who it's easy to learn a foreign language. It's more like a student who struggles a great deal. So one of the problems I've noticed is that a lot of people who have dyscalculia are not taught in a way that they understand in school. And there aren't very many tutors out there who teach math differently than it's taught in school. And Common Core Math, which at this time of this recording is our way of doing math, is extremely confusing to kids with dyscalculia and kids with dyslexia because they give them so many choices that they get confused because they don't know which to use. So for your average learner, that may make sense. Like, let's give them lots of choices and they'll pick which one resonates with them. But for the one who's struggling, it just doesn't work. So um, we have come up with a series of programs that we have found to be 99.99% effective for our learners. And if you don't want to do it yourself, guess what? we can help you. So if you have any specific questions on how to do math, please reach out to me either here or send an email. And we're happy to address your questions in another video, or you can jump on a call and we can answer your questions. And actually, we're going to be teaching a class to help adults learn basic 
um, multiplication and how to not have to count on their fingers. Because I've spoken to quite a few adults lately who have who have not mastered this skill. So I said, why not? Why not? We can record it and then you can watch it at your leisure at home and then not be embarrassed by the fact that you still struggle to multiply. Ta-ta for now.